Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and this is our fifth video tutorial on SQL Server Developer Interview Questions and Answers series. So let's continue with this one. So our first question is, what is a function in SQL Server? So SQL Server functions are set of SQL statements that execute a specific task. Their main use is that they can allow the common task to be easily replicated. SQL functions are used just to select the data from the SQL tables. So we cannot insert, delete or update the data in the functions. Functions are sometimes also called as UDF which stands for user defined function. A function accepts inputs in the form of parameters and returns a value. So there are two types of functions in SQL Server. The first one is the system defined functions and the second one is the user defined functions. Our next question is how many types of functions are in SQL Server? So the functions, those are created by the user in the database, they are known as user-defined functions. The user-defined functions may accept parameters and return the process data. We can put the complex code inside the user-defined functions and that code can be executed while executing the functions. We have three types of user-defined functions in SQL Server. The first one is the scalar function. A scalar function in SQL Server always returns a single value. The second one is the inline table valued function. The user defined inline table valued function returns a table variable as a result. The value of the table variable should be derived from a single select statement. Third one is the multi statement table valued function. A user defined multi statement table valued function returns a table variable as a result of actions performed by the function. It is useful because we can execute multiple statements in this function and get the aggregated results into the return table. We can define this function by using a table variable as the return value. Inside the function we can execute multiple queries and insert the data into this table variable. Our third question is what is a store procedure in SQL Server? A store procedure is a collection of SQL statements which are compiled and stored on the database. The main purpose of stored procedures is to hide the direct SQL queries from the code and improve the performance of database operations such as select, update and delete operations. Stored procedures provide some crucial benefits which are the first one is the reusable. So multiple users and applications can easily use and reuse the stored procedures. Another benefit is that easy to modify. You can quickly change the statements in a store procedure whenever you want with the help of alter command and you do not need to rebuild any code. Another benefit is security. Store procedures allow you to enhance the security of an application or a database by restricting the users from direct access to the tables. Another benefit is low network traffic. The server only passes the store procedure name instead of the whole query so reducing the network traffic. Another benefit is that increases performance. Stored procedures when executed for the first time it creates a plan and stores it in the buffer pool so that the plan can be reused when it executes next time. Now our fourth question is what is the difference between function and stored procedure? So the first difference between a function and a stored procedure is that a function always returns some value while a stored procedure may or may not return a value. We can only use select queries inside a function. We cannot use insert, delete or update queries in the functions. While we can use the insert, delete or update queries in the stored procedure and of course we can use the select queries as well. We cannot call a stored procedure from function but we can call a function from the stored procedure. We cannot use transactions inside a function but we can use the transactions inside a stored procedure. We can call the functions inside a select query but we cannot call the store procedure inside a select query. Our fifth question is what is the call is function in SQL? So the SQL call is function is used to handle the null values. The call is function returns the first non-null value in a list. The properties of SQL call is functions are the first property is that expressions must be of same data type. So as you can see in this particular query select call is null comma d comma z. So all the values like d and z and maybe some more values so all the values of should be of same data type. The second property is that it can contain multiple expressions. So as you can see in this particular case there are three expressions null, d and z. So you can have multiple expressions separated by comma. The third property is 
that the SQL call as function is a syntactic shortcut for the case expressions. So as you know in the case statement that we can have multiple case statements. Similarly, we have the same multiple cases here like if the first expression will be null, then the second case will be executed and in case the second value is also null, then the third case will be executed. So the first non-null value will be selected from the call as function. So for example, if you are going to execute this query on a SQL server, then it will return the value as D because the first expression is the null. So that's why the second value, the first non-null value D will be selected. Similarly, if you see another query here, select call as null, 20, 40, 10. So the first non-null value which is 20 that will be selected when you will execute this query on the SQL server. So this is the call as function. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.